to match it today we are learning about ratios what is a ratio a ratio is a comparison or relationship between two quantities okay this is here there are two circles and three triangles the ratio of circles to triangles is 2 is to 3 here 2 refers to the circles and 3 refers to the triangles order is very important when we are talking about ratio the ratio 2 is to 3 can also be written as 2 by 3 or 2 to 3 the ratio can be written in three forms 2 is to 3 2 by 3 or 2 to 3 now here we have some apples and oranges order is very important first we will talk about the apples then oranges so the ratio will be ratio of apples to oranges 4 is to 2 or 4 by 2 or 4 to 2 let us see one more example here there are two kids kamal and tia both are having cupcakes kamal has two cupcakes tia also has two cupcakes means the ratio of cupcakes for kamal and tia will be 1 is to 1 okay suppose kamal and tia have cupcakes the ratio of 2 is to 1 okay now if kamal is having 12 cupcakes how many cupcakes does tia has kamal has 12 cupcakes you need to find the cupcakes tia has and they have cupcakes in the ratio of 2 is to 1 means kamal is having twice or double the cupcakes tia has understood so can you try kids how many cupcakes does tia has having tia is having 6 cupcakes right what is the ratio of car to bike there is one car and three bikes here so the ratio will be 1 is to 3 if you write the ratio as a fraction it will be 1 by 3 what is the ratio of pencils to pencil box what is the ratio you got it right it is 4 is to 1 as a fraction 4 by 1 what is the ratio of penguins to birds let's count kids how many penguins and how many birds are there there are three penguins and four birds so the ratio will be 3 is to 4 or as a fraction it is 3 by 4 one more example there are 12 boys and 15 girls in class what is the ratio of boys to girls okay so he is already given number of boys equals to 12 number of girls equals to 15 this is very simple is asking for the ratio of boys to girls that equals to 12 is to 15 right so the ratio is 12 is to 15 you can simplify 12 is to 15 into a smaller number you have to find the common multiples common factor here so 3 fours are 12 3 fives are 15 in three table both the 12 and 15 will be coming right so i wrote it like this so taking out three common term from both the terms so it becomes 4 is to 5 so the ratio of boys is to girls will be 4 is to 5 let us see one more question the ratio of flower pot to roses is 1 is to 3 if there are three flower pots find the number of roses so the ratio of flower pot 
to roses is 1 is to 3. How many flower pots are there? Number of flower pots equals to 3. You have to find the number of roses. So, if you write 1 is to 3 as a fraction, it becomes 1 by 3. Right. Now, you have to find the number of roses. That is some unknown. I name it as x and that is a question mark. We have to find out this number. Okay. Let us start. This is the given. Whatever given we have written down and you have to find the unknown. So, the ratio of flower pot to roses equals to 1 by 3. Right. How Now, how many flower pots are there? There are 3 flower pots. And denominator refers to roses that is x. So, multiplying x into 1 equals to 3 times 3 that equals to 9. So, the number of roses are 9. Understand? Jack and Sarah got chocolates in the ratio of 2 is to 4. If Jack got 12 chocolates, how many Sarah got? Jack and Sarah, the ratio is 2 is to 4. And Jack got how many chocolates? 12 chocolates. Now, let us start doing Jack by Sarah. I am just writing it as Jack by Sarah. It refers as a fraction. So, that is 2 by 4. Now, how many chocolates Jack is having? 12. So, here the numerator refers to the Jack and denominator refers to the Sarah. So, how many chocolates Sarah? We need to find out this. Right. So, 2 by 4 equals to 12 by question mark. So, number of chocolates Sarah is having. Here, what we can do is, we have to multiply two into this question mark are Sarah's chocolates, right? Equals to twelve into four. What is twelve times four? That is nothing but twelve fours are forty-eight. Now two times the Sarah's chocolates equals to forty-eight. Now, if there is a multiplication symbol here on the left hand side, this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side, right? Now, this is 2, there is a multiplication here. If we go to the opposite side, like equal term, will become a division. So, Sarah chocolates equals to 48 by 2. That is nothing but 24. So, the number of chocolates Sarah got is 24. Let us see one more problem here. To make cake enough for 15 people, 850 grams of flour is used. What weight of flour is required to make enough cake for 25 people? So, 15 people, they made a cake for 15 people and how much weight of flour is used? 850 grams flour is used. Now they have to make the cake enough for 25 people. How many grams flour is required? That is what we need to find out. 15 people use this much of flour. 25 people need how much grams of flour? So whatever is the there is question mark, I am just using it as unknown, I am just giving an x here, that is the unknown here. So we have to find out the x. So I can write it as simply, 15 people requires 850 grams, this is the ratio I made it, then 25 people requires 
this much grams of flour that is x so i am multiplying the opposites numerator denominator denominator numerator 15 times x equals to 25 times 850 understood now 25 150 equals to 21250 and you have to find that is x is nothing but the grams of flour so x equals to 21250 divided by 15 that equal to 